This is a new tech production. This is a new tech production. This is a new tech production. Welcome back to the Outcast Podcast, guys. So, um, yeah, man, me and uh, Black are sitting here just talking about how so many, so many freaking layers uh, to the Wu Tang Clan. So many things that they sparked off, like uh, on. Um, only built for Cuban links, man. The uh, the blue and cream skit yeah. when Ghostface is talking about how he gonna fucking uh, flip these wallaby, have to flip these wallaby clocks. You know what I mean? To have uh, blue on one side and, and cream on the other side, and um, you know what I mean. Which leads us up to uh, uh, Ghostface uh, solo album uh, Iron Man. And you see on the cover, uh, you got uh, 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 Ghost, you got Capadon, you got Raekwon. And they on the cover fucking with a whole fucking mountain full of different color wallabies, you know what I'm saying? You got the red and black and the green and the cr- all, all kind of shit, you know what I mean? Brown and cream, all kind of flavors. And that just, um, I really thought that was a dope cover, man, because it really shows, uh, it shows like they just bring a visual of, as to what they be talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? They were, they were just visual guys. They were real colorful. Like, they were just unmatched with that kind of shit, man. But Iron Man, you know... Um, this had a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of fire hits on there, man. Of, of course, uh, Daytona 500, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Nautilus sample. Uh, we had the Nautilus sample in there, man, the right. video. And, which was a very uh, popular sample to use back then. Didn't, didn't really get this, this, I got the speed racer concept, but, um, I don't know. I really thought they kind of cheated us with that, uh, yeah. with the speed racer. It was kind of um, all over the place. Yeah, I'm like, you know, if you paid all that money to, to, to use that shit, y'all could have just fucking made your own little oh, yeah. Wu-Tang cartoon, Daytona 500. But anyway, um, Cam May, you know yeah. what I mean? The song Cam May, uh. You know, it was a song about the ladies, dedicated to the ladies. You know what I mean? Real smooth type cut. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Talking about just, you know, the perfect woman and ghost. You know what I mean? Ghost wanted Ghost to, being ghost. He yeah. wanted a woman, you know what I mean? To make them big macaroni yeah. turkey wings. The niggas starving. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. shit like that, you know? Yeah. Um, also, we got to talk about the biggest, probably the biggest verse off the album, which is on Winter Wars with Capadonna. Yes. Now, this is where he really came into his own. Like, the whole verse, like two and a half minutes, he's just going straight. Just straight bars, straight bars, two yes. and a half minutes. And it was actually a freestyle. He actually uh, tweeted it out. He was like, yo, that shit was actually a freestyle. But uh, I was just talking to Gary earlier. He was known for doing that type of shit, just like going off the dome right. for like extended periods of time, just flowing and flowing on, right. on types of crazy shit. So like, cool. like, like I was telling you earlier, um, uh, I was watching uh, the Showtime documentary and just little interviews and clips about uh, the Wu-Tang. But they all say that uh, Capadon is like they, it's like they favorite MC. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, before he joined the Wu Tang, he was already kind of known uh, on Staten Island, um, you know, as a rapper, you know, doing his own thing. Um, so it was only natural that um, you know the Wu Tang um, asked him to, to join, join the clan. But um, I've heard them say, uh, I heard Meth say one time, you know, throw on uh, before I let go uh, instrumental. Uh, who's that? Before I let go. I uh, frankly bit. Uh, Frankie and Beverly okay, and Frankie Frankie Beverly and Mays. Uh, throw that on, and Capadonna will kill it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man. On Winter Wars, uh, I always say that uh, in the Wu Tang, you had your you had your your your, your members in the clan that kind of already established themselves. Um, that they were nice from like the first album, but uh, later on, other members had had their moments where they kind of um, had their breakout moment, and this was Capadon's. Uh, breakout moment I felt on uh, Winter Wars, man, with that verse, man. See my face on a $20 bill, cash it in, you get $10 back. The fat LP with cappuccino on the wax, you know what I mean? Like, that verse was so crazy. And like you said, the shit was like two and a half man, minutes long. I was like, when is this motherfucker going to stop? Yeah, he was just, he was just like, he could have stop, going just, going just, just, just throwing darts at you, was, man. Was, just dart after dart after dart after dart. I think the only person, because LL Cool J, his verses were really long, like, um, Take a song like uh, the Doo Wop off of his second album, uh, Bigger and Deffer. That whole song, like if you notice in that song, he just went like five minutes straight. Mm-hmm. And I no think hook. it was a very rare thing in the '90s because that's when like, everything started to get more formulated when mm-hmm. hip hop started to come in. Verse hook, verse, verse hook, hook. Hook, hook, yeah. Everybody and Kooji rap off of Men at Work on Road to Riches. His first verse is like two and a half minutes too. Mm-hmm. So that was something that a lot of people did. You'll never get that nowadays. Just, oh no, never, never. Like people, they're not talented enough to do two and a half minutes of just straight off the dome rhymes. It's yeah. just not something you see every day. Yeah. Um, also, this is this also was kind of a continuation of uh, of um, 
uh, Cuban links, you know what I mean? Uh, Ghost carrying on the, uh, the Iron Man name, the Iron Man theme. Um, but uh, you also had a, uh, he had the skit in there from that movie, um, uh, Sonny Carson, uh, the Miseducation of Sonny Carson. Carson. A movie, uh, the kid is saying, hey, hey, boy, the nigga whole style is chunk. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, everybody knows Iron Man for that famous skit. Um, also, uh, uh, what's that song? Oh, 260. Yeah, 260, yeah. Kick down the door on the spot, 260. I think that's what uh, what song they put that on. But, yeah, All That I Got Is You yeah. uh, featuring Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Um, another uh, uh, Mary J. Blige feature with the Wu. Um, uh, it did numbers for Ghostface. I don't, I don't think it did the numbers that um, All I Need did. Did it? I don't know. Don't no. quote me on that. Uh, but it was a big record for uh, for Iron Man. Um, what else is on there? Fish. fish. We eat fish, toss salads, and make rap yeah. ballads. You know what I mean? And that was like the um, only song that wasn't produced by Rich. I think that's how Trackmasters uh, produced that song. Trackmasters or or, or um, True Master? I think it was True Master. Let me just... True Master. Um, um, was the producer? Yeah, True um, Master. Yeah, sorry, not True Master. True Master, my bad. Yeah, that's this is also uh, RZA incorporating uh, other uh, producers um, into the Wu Tang uh, production family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so you had a uh, Fourth Disciple, you had uh, Mathematics, you have uh, Tr uh, True Master. Yes, Maybe it's somebody I'm forgetting in there, but uh, like I said, there's so many layers, layers upon layers upon layers. Uh, Pretty sure Killer Priest was a uh, he was a he was a producer too. Killer Priest. Killer Priest. Yeah, I think. He and a rapper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same RZA. Hey. And a DJ. Well, no, RZA was a DJ. So. Yeah, man. So um. So yeah, pretty much uh, that wraps it up um for this uh first segment of the uh, iCast podcast, our uh, Wu Tang edition. So um you know we talked about uh the first half of uh the Wu Tang. Uh, series, but um, the second half we're going to come back and talk about um, the uh, the album where they come back together uh, and uh, as a group, and um, it's called Wu Tang Forever. But uh, until then, keep watching the Oddcast podcast. I want to thank everybody, man. First of all, um, for subscribing. Um, I want you guys to continue to uh, to grow with us as we grow. You know, we're going to uh, continue to uh, talk about '90s music and talk about uh, hip hop and and things like that, man. But uh, I just want to thank my subscribers. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mr. Gary Ganu. And uh, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Black Hurricane. And uh, check us out on YouTube. Um, look uh, under New Tech Presents, the iCast podcast on YouTube. And um, that's about it, man, for part one, man. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace. Wu Tang. Forever. Forever, baby. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing.